Well, I, I think that, you know, first of all, that's about eight levels above my pay grade. Uh, no, actually 10 levels. Uh, so, you know. I'm Derek Young, and you're watching and listening to the KSO Show, and we're recapping what we heard, you know, from a press conference conducted by Van Malone inside the Veneer Family Football Complex. So that it was a little bit on the uh, topic of realignment, of course, and how that's shaken up the Big 12 landscape of, with uh, Texas and Oklahoma departing the Big 12 for the SEC, and obviously that's a big topic of, you know, how that's going to impact Kansas State and what their status is as a, com- a power conference school will be going forward, and Van Malone was asked about that, and one of the first things he did say was that it was obviously above his pay grade and clearly he's probably correct at that point because that's going to be something that's made at probably the university level uh the conference level something that's a little bit out of the hands of what the coaches can do obviously besides you know perhaps win some games this fall of course so you know they're controlling what they can control because obviously they're not going to have a direct impact on how that's going to proceed forward or how they're going to maneuver through the process from the kansas state lens of course But another thing he was said was that they have been assured by the leaders at Kansas State, um, you know, at the top university level that, you know, their status is they're still going to be a relevant football program. It's not I wouldn't say he didn't use the words unchanged whatsoever, but that they will remain relevant. um, Kansas State football has um, the uncertainty in the Big 12 right now added any uncertainty with you dealing with recruits and those questions come up. What do you see? Well, I, I think that, you know, first of all, that's about eight levels above my pay grade. Uh, no, actually 10 levels. Uh, so, you know, our players on our current team, that, that's, not a, that's not a factor in their lives. That's not a distraction for them. They are, they are locked in and focused on, on their jobs and the things that they can control. And so, you know, in recruiting, Sometimes parents ask that, but we, we hit that straight straight on as a staff from Coach Klein and from our coaches to say that uh, Kansas State is a, is a great university, a great football, great athletic program, and we're going to be on the, on the highest level, and we're going to do things. Whoever is in charge, whoever is making those decisions, we're going to do things that, are gonna, that will keep Kansas State in the spotlight, in the forefront of athletics across the country and so however that plays out I don't have a vote Uh, the recruits won't have a vote our current players won't have a vote but we have confidence in the in our leadership we have confidence in the in the people who are in charge of making those decisions and they've assured us that that we're going to be we're going to be relevant and so that you know we're going to continue to do our jobs continue to do what we can do to help them to be able to put us in those positions. Just to follow up on that a little bit, is that something that's coming up quite a bit right now in recruiting? No, you know, in, in initially it, you know, there were questions, but right now our recruits are in fall camps. <laughs> and and you know, if you think about that, it's probably true. Even if it perhaps do slip, the conference does slip. If if the eight remain together and, and add a few teams, hypothetically, of course, you, you you do have still a pretty good conference at that point maybe not on the same level as a Pac-12, ACC, SEC, or, or Big Ten, but not something dramatically lower, still probably ahead of what some of the other group of five programs consist of at this point. So at that point, you're still relevant, and you still probably have a seat at the table, and you can argue at that point with a conference that's probably a little bit more competitive in Kansas State's wheelhouse that, you know, at that point, maybe that they have more of a path to the playoff at that point it, it might be clear so you can understand what the leaders are telling Van Malone and how the, they're consuming that information and interpreting it of course because it a lot of things would have to go not their way for them to, to not remain relevant so Kansas State staying as a relevant program to me is not it's not much of a stretch um, but that's it for what kind of the takeaway was from Van Malone's press conference inside the Veneer Family Football Complex I hope you enjoyed this KSO show I'm Derek Young and tell your friends